So I remembered I have a certain miracle I have not used yet. We're not going to cast it here. We're, we're going to move down here. Yeah, down this way. Yeah, that's the plan, at least. Alright, God's Wrath. That took most of our MP. Fucking radical. In the meantime, not gonna need um, much more FP. There's a ring I've got to look at too, by the way. Sorry. Um, but I'm gonna whack that on, because we're gonna get rid of that. And we'll have a look at Anti-Magic Field. In the hopes that it does not piss off anyone. So let's have a cast and have a look. So you, yep, cool, perfect. With this crackling sexual energy. Wait, hold on, is it a minor proximity? Is that how it works? Yeah, that's how it works, isn't it? Ah, cool. I totally forgot, it's Vow of Silence, yeah. Yeah, it's on who gets caught in it initially. Wait, is that how Vow? Is that how that works? I don't bloody remember. I'm just a little scared to go near Priesty. For fear of pissing him off. Wait, how long does this fucking last? I can't check, can I? Well, this was clever. Um, hope I don't piss anyone off. Thomas and Baldwin don't seem to have beef. You can do this. Is this fucking... Does this stay on? Okay, no. No, it's gone. Do well, that... That's pretty good. Better than fucking Vow of Silence and Dark Souls 3, I tell you what. Right, so we're going to Latria today. So that's rad. Nope. Probably not going to need that. So I'm just going to whack Regen back on. And I'm going to put on... I've got to show this off eventually, but now it's not the time. I'm going to put on Evacuate. Um... Umbata indeed. Alright, yeah, so you probably also noticed the colossal fuck ton of souls I have. Well, thankfully. Problem solved. Yep. Uh, there is also one other problem, which is why I'm starting this here. Without having bought stuff, because I want to point something out. So, I'm not that heavy. I kind of am, but I'm not incredibly heavy. So, something occurred to me. Um, so, I was building this up in the background for ages without realizing. And after the session yesterday, I spent some time grinding in, um, in 1-3, trying to get a night sword. I ended up just fucking buying one. Um, yeah, so that's a problem now, because I've got 35 on me that I can't get rid of. While we're here, well, we looked at the night sword. I'll, I'll use it later. I don't have enough hardstone to upgrade it, sadly. So yeah, that's uh, that's cool. That was clever of me. Right, I don't think there's anything else I'm forgetting. So, grass situation. I've cut down a bit more of these as consequence. I've got a fuck ton of this. Yeah, I'm gonna need it though for the boss, so whatever. This level's long. I should maybe bring more arrows. Ah, fuck it, yeah. Um, for anyone who knows, no, Ooh, I, I will not be doing that. I will show it off, but I won't do that. That would be stupid and kind of destroy the whole fight. So no, we won't be cheesing the boss. But Lava Bow is pretty sick, I worked it out. This thing's better given our dex situation. Now, the annoying thing with my stats, other than, you know, being haphazard and all over the fucking place, is if I had 28 strength, I'd be at that magical threshold where um, crushing infusion would be better on everything. As consequence, well, yeah, you'll notice... Jeez, that looks awful. Yeah, plus four. We're doing some serious fucking damage now. Um, if we were two more strength, mid and hammer could be crushing no prob. But sadly, no. So, just to demonstrate... 277, sorry, 313. So I could have gone ahead and maxed this out, but nah. Anyway, enough of the preamble. Hey Patches, what's up man? 
looking good. Archstone of a demon fool's idol. The church devoted to an idol mimicking the queen gave hope to the prisoners, but the malice behind it will crush their faint solace. Let's watch. Boy, the loading screen's really like showing me Meralda. It's bizarre, I don't know why. Anyway, um, yeah, back to Latria, it's been a bit. It's been a while. So, oh, I should mention, I, this, I was going to start off like this, but this is the day after um, the last session, after Boletaria. Because I've realised I need a little more footage. It also means it's, it's the day after... Well, the day of, I should say, in my case, of Steve being revealed for uh, Smash Bros. Not gonna lie, I was a tad disappointed for that split five seconds. And then I realised the salt was gonna be enormous. And it fucking is, and I'm so happy. I am so goddamn happy. I feel bad for Maximilian, dude, though. Stayed up all that time playing Monster Hunter, only to have his spirits crushed. What a shame. So yeah, we're back in Latria. We looked at this already, but while we're waiting, the cat's ring. A simple ring engraved with the seal of a cat. It decreases damage when falling from high places. However, if you fall too high from a perch, you will die in the usual way. Um, not as helpful from here as you'd think. So again, uh, yeah, this is, uh, this is Latria. Latria proper, I guess. So, first and foremost. Yep. That's a big old Bloodborne looking thing, isn't it? Now, I plugged that video, um, back when I did Latria. In the first place. Um, what's it? Miyazaki's most... I, I fucking forget the name, but it's a good video. But like, most disturbing creation, or something like that. And I'm pretty sure I mentioned then, supposedly this is the level that inspired Bloodborne as a whole. Hopefully, you will find out why if you don't know already. I mean, fucking look at that. Not the fire. That. Yes, Consister. You can probably make that out, can't you? Yep. Mm-hmm. So to remind anyone who's still with us. Well, back when we beat Fool's Idol. For real. Yeah, that time we actually killed her. Some gargs picked us up. Reminiscent of Sen's Fortress and Dark Souls 1. Which is reminiscent of this. So, they're totally enemies here. So you know, that's cool. Hmm. Yeah, it's a long way down. Have some faint hope, though. Perhaps the sun will shine upon this Lord of Cinder. Whatever that means. Fucking nerds. So, I have two stone... I should say two stones of ephemeral eyes on me. Oh, hey, buddy. See, yeah, that, that's him. I have two stones of ephemeral eyes on me. Not using them because there's a shitty drop I'm gonna have to make for an item. But I can't even use yet, but I really wanna get. So this is the gargoyle. You can get their rapier, and there are some that like using crossbows, and yep, you can get that too. They seemingly always drop an unknown soldier's soul. So that's pretty handy. We're actually pretty good for farming in that regard. One of these things is not like the other. One of these things got missed. Because I'm fucking clever. Crack shot over here. I have my talisman of God. I want my wooden catalyst. Fireball! Fireball! Oh, it's unlocked. Great. Cool. Yeah, so he's a rapier one too.
Oh, yeah, I should mention, um... Wait, yes. No, no, I died off camera when I was farming last night. Those fucking black phantom, uh, fat officials got me a few times. Um, got wedged in. Not fun. Very much not a great time. Would not recommend. Gotta remember that. I always forget it. Indeed, the poor guy. Yep, so I'm pretty sure... Yeah, no, this is one of shots they've used for the Demon Souls remake. Of this gargoyle landing. Which you just kind of walk up to, you'll time it pretty well. So this is the power of crushing. Being one hit off. That's infuriating. Ah, oh, Damn. Damn, 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 McBain. I've been shot. So... Um, first of all, I was kind of contemplating bringing along the Dark Keeper here. Because there is some, um, magic in this area I gotta be wary of. Sorry, I like that. I like these later. I've gotta come back anyway. There is some magic, but not enough to worry about. Yeah, frame rate's absurdly shitty here. I don't know what exactly what causes it. But yep, that's the item we've gotta drop for. Underneath that, we'll talk about that, don't worry. Oh yeah, um, by the way, pure black. Or at least, wait, no. No, it probably isn't. Wait, no, it should be. I haven't beaten the boss and I said it to pure black last night. What am I saying? Yeah, um, there's a key we can only get in pure white, which will help us with our friend, Lord Rudiel. You know, please, help me. That's him, shit. Uh, just gonna scream a bit more. Yeah, there's an item here. We'll talk about that in a sec. Yeah, you kind of have to. It sucks. I get the feeling I'm gonna like you under the in in the context of oh, hey buddy. Hey, here's the crossbow guy. I'm gonna like him in the context of I think this trying to tell you just smash the pots and walk forward and they're not being a dick but I could be wrong where you, where you, where you go oh yes I believe a crossbow drop isn't very good which is a damn shame apparently even at 99 magic because well I should explain their crossbow scales with magic so that's actually pretty neat um, even at 99, it will not out-damage typical crossbows. It won't out-damage the heavy. Maybe it outdoes the light. Now, I can't say I verified that, because why the fuck would I do that? But I'm trusting some people that decided to do crossbow-only runs. So you'll notice there are some items in there. You'll also notice no dice. Actually, hold on, I need to turn up my audio for one second to listen. I, I thought maybe we could hear like a faint pulsing, but you can hear some weird, strange, ethereal noises from beyond. I don't know. Some horror type shit. Eh, whatever. Now, this is not the way, as you could see in the first place very much not the way we're gonna try for that once I get it and I'm back on less precarious ground I will pop the ephemeral eyes you know for all of you playing along at home who want to evade invade at um almost 2 2 p.m. um Melbourne time yeah there the, were the, like four people playing again. And one pe one person was in the towers. They were hanging around here. But uh, that was a while ago. Because I've had the game running all set up. So probably missed it. Hello there, fluted friend. Yeah. Now, to my knowledge, we've got to kind of go in on this angle. Unfortunately, I nailed it last time on my last playthrough that I did hear about... I, I went through here about a week ago. Just casually. Bit over. We're probably gonna fall. We are... 
gonna fall. Fantastic. Yeah. Well, I'm happy I did, actually. It demonstrates how fucking shit that uh, fall is. It's not great. I mean, that's also my fault for um, approaching it wrong. That's not salt. I mean, it's not very well designed, though, to be completely honest. But hey, I, you know, I know better at this point. We're going to use this because I'm not free-shotting these fucks. I'm two-shotting them like a man. So yeah, that's the, yeah, that's the intention today. Hey you. Guess I'm gonna free shot you after all. Uh, fucking why, why do we unlock? Come on. Yeah, yeah, he does that. It's your all team player, Garg, over here. Hey you. Gate yeah, shit. Yeah, so I wasn't sure if it was just like an obscenely high drop rate, but no. They drop unknown hero souls every single time. Every time, without fail. Now, other than just being incredibly handy for farming purposes, so let's have a look. I've barely used any the whole game, so let's see how many I already have. 29? <laughs> so yeah, you can fucking farm here and have a ton. Yeah, other than just being convenient and pretty cool, you could say it ties into the lore. If you're one of those fucking nerds, am I right? Epic gamers? <laughs> why, do, why do I even do that? It hurts internally when I make those fucking jokes. Ugh. Anyway, besides the point. In terms of lore, I would kind of take it as... Eh. One of two options. Let's hope I fucked this up again. I fucked it up yet again. Damn it. You can take it as two things. I might cut this if this is a shitty, shitty run, but um, either it's the Gargs have murked people and they're holding on to the souls as consequence, or perhaps they were created by the old king. Sorry, by the old monk, who was also a king, yes, but that's the terminology that's used later on, as we get further through Latria. I'm um, speaking of which, yeah, we're uh, beating Latria today, damn it. So, would be cool if someone was around here. For reasons. Half light. Spear of the bullshit. That's just a Dark Souls 3 joke, gamers. Boy, come on. I should also mention, due to like, all my souls, I was actually closer to, yeah, I had 60,000. So, I'm effectively full up on arrows, as you... Well, yeah, no, you saw, because I grabbed some. Yeah, unless you skip the start, in which case, yeah, fair enough. After the weapon showcase. That, that you know, preceded the last session. Fair enough. So, unknown soldiers. Wait, so did I look at the wrong one, or did I alternate? I fucking forget. Ah, still. 200 and 400, nothing wrong with that. Solar remains, I don't think they work on them. Oh well. Yeah, point is, I've got a fuck ton of arrows. Um, so that'll be handy for something, or two things rather, that I'd like to try, and I've never done before. Also, it's just nice to have a backup. Alright, fuck it. Whoop. I could have been really bad. Oh, let's see. So now that we're back here and probably gonna die again, let's just admire this. Yep. We will have a proper look at it in a moment. Yeah, you know, assuming I fucking nail it this time. Oh yeah, blood on the stairs too. You know, better than blood on the dance floor. Probably a contentious thing to say. Wait, no it's probably not. Really not a fan of that band. Assuming they're still a thing even. I don't know if they are. Yeah, get wandered, fuck. Fucking... Um, pod. Yeah, who showed... That, that's right. I fucking showed you, man. Let's try this. 
I've been pushed again. I have been cheated. I think your souls are gone, buddy. Yeah, so there's nothing else up here. Just this. So there's that. Now we're back here. So, uh, yeah, we uh, did it. Let's just go back up here, because I don't want one of those gargs to uh, aggro again. That would kind of suck. So we'll head a tiny bit higher. Yeah, you're the one I killed. Died with dignity, clearly. Dignity City. I have a ring, that's right. Sorry about that. The Ring of Magical Dullness. Grabbed in episode... Uh, uh, the one in Valley of Defilement. Um, 17, I think it was. Yeah, probably was 17. A soft ring... Bearing a light green seal decreases the magic power. Sorry, decreases magic attack power, increases defense against magic. Made by Jerry. Blah blah, Sage Frake. Yeah. Uh, this seal's design is a right facing man. The other one, which I. You know, did we get it? I think we did. Yeah, the other one is a left facing man, as con in contrast. But yeah, as you can see. Pretty decent. Um, and given we're only using fireball, like, yeah, not that bad. If I just had utility magic like cloak on, absol absolutely a fucking amazing ring. The various parts of the game. Oh, excuse me. Wow. I don't think my voice is going to go today, but there's always a chance. So, Varun Shield. An exquisitely crafted, yes, crafted, that's the word, golden shield. Strongly enhanced with magic, it protects the user from magical attacks. It is the shield of a legendary hero who uses it with its matching rune sword. Hey, the top weapon. An exquisitely, <laughs> an exquisitely crafted golden sword. Its physical attack power is negligible, but it is enhanced with powerful spells and protects its wielder from magic. It is a legendary hero's weapon. That forms a matching set with a rune shield. So yeah, as you can see, 176. I can't use it because 18 in, but let's have a look. 206, and then, on top of that, 235. So if there's something I've tried to do in a lot of these Souls games where I've, I like making, well, something Saint Ride does actually. The, um, what's it, what does he call it? The, um, the poise wizards and that's kind of something I like to do to a similar degree where I, I like to make knights knight looking characters that are actually spellcasters in disguise which is mostly just like magic infused weapons really it's pretty fun to do I barely ever get in that far through the game like normally in Dark Souls 3 or releasing that one I get up to Irithyll dungeon and then go eh new character not because they're bad, because that's just how I fucking play these games. Yeah, so Crossbowman's coming over here. But for the meantime, while, while we wait it out... Yeah? He's flying, great. Now, I don't exactly know what this is meant to be. Like, I know, I actually know what it is, obviously. But it reminds me of like a reptile with like the scaly looking stuff on it. We'll talk about what it actually is later on, but not right now. And yeah, there's a golden light over there. Fighting gold. That was a JoJo reference. I've, you know, covered my quota now. Yeah. I like their animations. 
So yeah, in spite of what I was saying, they uh, don't do magic damage weirdly enough. Yeah, shit. Watch out. The flamberge. Flamberge. Man, I love the flamberge in Dark Souls 3. I haven't really used it in Dark Souls 1, so I can't really comment. This is what it looks like in free though. And two, actually. So, one, two. Yeah, it's a large sword. You know what it is by now. You know, assuming you've been watching. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not going to do the whole moveset. There's no real point. Yeah, Flamberge. Pretty decent. So, this is the Dex scaling um, greatsword. Yeah. 120 bleed, not bad, not bad. 18 and 14 required. And let's have a look at this. A unique large sword with a rippled blade. Named for the way it resembles a flame. Kinda, I guess. The blade is made for rending flesh and causes severe bleeding. It is particularly known for its ability to cause fatal wounds. Yeah, so there you go. It's pretty great. It's pretty cool. I don't know about in this game, but yeah, as I said, Dark Souls 3 Flambeau is pretty fun, if you can get it. I've got a, um, I've got a luck character I've managed to keep, actually, on my PS4. Um, which is rare for me, because normally I just fucking delete them. But, yeah, luck build, um, named Fortunate Son. Yeah, um, yeah, that's, that's a music reference, what a fucking surprise. But, yeah. It's actually pretty fun to use. He's got the Ferris hat, he's got um, the Gale armor. Holy fuck, I haven't seen that attack for, for well, years. I say like, ages. So there we go, using our grass. Yeah, so you can't pass this without going through. So don't even try. For all, as for you. Yeah, there's nothing there. I'm pretty sure we'll just get pushed off the edge by that little gap. So there are totally gargoyles that are going to descend on us as we climb this tower. So yeah, when they actually fucking hit, they hurt. Now is this the one where it's... Yeah. Where is it? I think if we go a little higher, it's actually up here. Where are you? There you are, fucker. Yeah, he's kind of just hanging out, clipping into the roof. Yeah? Yeah? Hey, you like that? Mm-hmm. <laughs> now, I have done some research in regards to a certain thing that will occur in this level. Um, also, yeah, Old Iron King over here. Is there something here? Yes, there is. Um, I've done my research in regards to a certain something, or someone, I should say, rather, that we are going to meet today. Oh, fuck. It's like that time in Irafil where I got fucking glitched on those pots. Oh, well, fuck it. While we wait. Admire this. Whoops, wrong thing. Yep, got it on camera, finally. I'll adjust the cling once we are up the tower. Yeah, we're going to meet someone today, and I've made very... Well, what am I saying? I've made sure. I've done a thorough research to ensure that doing what I'm going to do will not result in my save being totally fucked. Anyway, I've got all the magic, so... Bar boss stuff, so whatever. I don't remember who dies first. Cough. Cough. Ah, NPC's dying. Why would that happen? Ha <laughs> ha. Ah, hmm. Yeah, so now we can be invaded again, so that's cool. Master String I'd like to use, but nah. We might have to put this on, potentially. I don't know what we're going to wear. Yeah. Ah, damn it, that's what I should have done. I could have worn better armor, but fuck it. Yeah, I meant to comment, I'm in the Thief's gear now. The black set. Um, due to, like, some stuff we're going to be picking up, um, but at the same time, with what I'm saying, I, it's occurred to me that I won't need to worry about 
everything, well, that particularly heavy set we are going to require. We'll be getting that later. Yeah, when we head back to the Nexus. From the vendor we're going to meet. Oh yeah, um, cutscene, that's right. Yeah, so you got a good shot at it there. It's gripping the tower. That weird abomination. Let's see if we can get a good shot from this angle. If you have white cell tendency, you can proceed. Yes, very true. I should comment also, boy, this level is fucking long. Just a heads up. So, yeah, this is um one of those side towers. If we were in white wall tendency, there would be a board that would be down between these two. And yeah, you can go higher. The keys to free Ridiel are right up there. So yeah. And for all the cells across from him. On the other side of the prison lane, I guess. I guess that's a thinly veiled Sonic Adventure 2 joke. Yeah, I, I don't fucking know. I was going to comment, I was playing through here um, the other day, like I said, while indulging in uh, the Ross Scott game dungeon. That was some good shit. So yeah, um, sends fortress cages. This will take us down to a swamp below. So we'll do that. But we're going to take this way instead. Yeah, so there it is. Now, I don't know if there's anything that explicitly mentions a name. But that thing is called the Old Monk's Heart. The Old Monk, being the king, who uh, lives up top over in that tower there. You'll see there's a bridge there. You can make it out because there's a brazier on it. That's a fun room. Having a, having a blast there, I, I fucking bet. I feel bad for whoever had to get the fucking chain up there. I guess it was the Gargs. The Gargoyles. Because, yeah. Um, don't know how the servants would have done it. Oh yeah, we can get a good look at it here. I mean, the chains just kind of end. Um, which isn't the best, but fuck it. Yeah, um, this is cool. This is a really cool aesthetic. I was joking about Crown of the Old Iron King, but maybe not. Maybe it's not a joke. Alright, time for a drop. Cat ring would actually be handy, but I'm not fucking equipping it. Because we're going to regen our health, like, immediately. Shard of Archstone, in case you want to teleport back. Be wary of the enemy's kick. Hmm. The enemy's kick? Don't know about that. Hey, buddy. Harrying dagger and shodel. Some sick-looking armor. Are you here to fight the demons? If so... Then help me escape this place. I am on your side. I have come to face the demons. We can always say yes, so I'm gonna say no. Come back here. You will one day regret this. I do not forget those who do me wrong. Whatever you say, bud. I am on your... Thanks for facing through us, buddy. Thank you. I will remember this. I am certain we will meet again. There's some cool concept art for this guy under the I will. I am. So yeah, no name. But yeah, look at his fucking armor. He sells it later on, thankfully, so yeah. I'm looking forward to... We're going to head back to the Nexus um, just before the boss, and I will get that armor. I'll have enough souls for it, I'm sure. Yeah, cool guy. Um, I'll, I'll talk about him when we get back to the Nexus. Catch you later, man. See you there. What a nice fella. 